Good afternoon, everybody. This is Chris Haynes coming to you on this Wednesday, August 5th, from my office here at First United Methodist Church in beautiful downtown Lexington, Tennessee. Hope that you are having a great day and enjoying some of the milder weather we've been having so far this week. And uh, just hope that your week is going well. Uh, as you know, we are continuing to pray for all of those involved in back to school this time of year, for teachers and administrators and students and parents and bus drivers and everybody who is working hard to make this happen during this difficult year. And we'll, we'll circle back around to that prayer here in a second, but some announcements for you. Uh, first of all, because of the continuing high number of COVID cases and also because uh, today uh, we have our repair workers starting their plaster repair in our sanctuary, uh, for those reasons we are going to stay with a, an online only worship for at least this coming Sunday. So we invite you to join us for worship Sunday morning at 10.15 a.m. via Facebook and via YouTube. And uh, we appreciate your understanding with that. Uh, because of that, uh, we're doing a couple of things a little bit differently. First of all, we are still giving our Bibles to our third graders this Sunday and acknowledging them in our worship service. So if you are the parent of a third grader in our congregation and have not heard from Beverly Brewer uh, this week about receiving your child's Bible, make sure that you get a hold of us as soon as possible so that we can make that happen for you. Uh, we'll be recognizing you and your families uh, Sunday morning, so make sure that you are watching with us as we acknowledge uh, that particular rite of passage in our church. Uh, we are also doing our blessing of the backpacks this week in two different ways. We are doing a an online blessing of the backpacks. And so, again, if you're part of our uh, children's uh, mailing list at our church, hopefully by today you should be receiving a, uh, a backpack tag by mail that you can use as part of our uh, blessing of the backpacks during our online worship service. So if you do not receive that, please, again, be in touch with us so that we can get you one of those backpack tags as soon as possible. Or if you need more, if you know somebody else who would benefit from one of those uh, from our church, please let us know. But in addition to the online uh, blessing of the backpacks, we are doing, for those who would like to participate, we're also doing a drive-through blessing of the backpacks on Sunday afternoon. This coming Sunday from noon to 2 p.m., I will be in our church parking lot, and uh, we will have a chance for you to drive through just to say hello and check in with each other and we'll have an in-person individual blessing of the backpacks and we'll also have a little something uh, to give our kids uh, if you participate in that drive-through uh, blessing of the backpacks this Sunday from noon to two. So uh, please, uh, if you're part of one of our student families, please uh, make plans to, to come through and be a part of that with us. Uh, again, our office hours this week continue to be Monday through Friday, 9 to noon, and if you need to have access to the church during other hours, let us know ahead of time and we'll do our best to work with you on that. Our food pantry this week is switching to Friday only from 1 to 3 p.m., and so if you know of anybody who would like to come and uh, participate or uh, receive any food distributions, that will be this Friday from 1 to 3 p.m. And finally, if you are part of our youth group or if you have a child who is part of our youth group, Abby Barker has been sending out some messages through our Remind system and through emails. And so we're going to have some upcoming activities uh, with our youth. So if you have not been receiving those messages, make sure that you check our interpreter for more details, but also uh, let us know so that we can make sure and get you onto uh, that communication system so you'll be sure to receive the latest information about our um, about our youth program and we do have some activities coming up this week so we want to make sure that you're aware of those all right with all of that being said I just want to read a couple of verses for you from Proverbs chapter 19 verses 20 through 21 
uh, just uh, about the importance of education and receiving instruction. Proverbs 19 tells us this, Listen to advice and accept instruction, that you may gain wisdom for the future. The human mind may devise many plans, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will be established. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. As we pray for all of our students who will be accepting instruction to uh, gain wisdom for their future, as well as the teachers who provide that instruction, we also pray this week for Angela Blankenship, uh, Caleb Dill, Gary and Lori Vaughn, Christy Prokop, Leah Rowland, Lolita Clark, Pam Sanders, Robbie Kennedy, Robert Walker, Brother Bill Evans, Danny Skates, and Tom Riney. Uh, we also invite you to list any others whom we can lift up in prayer this week as well. Let us be in an attitude of prayer as we go to God today. Gracious God, especially during this back to school week, we pause and thank you for teaching us. You give us wisdom now to help us in the future. We are grateful for this new year in which we may grow in faith, friendship, and the love of Jesus. We pray for all students in our community. Thank you for their curiosity, hope, and kindness. Help our students to listen for your voice as they explore and seek to live what they believe. We pray for all teachers. Thank you for giving them dedication, experience, and insight. Sustain them by your spirit with creativity, patience, peace, and joy. Continually guide and bless all parents, families, and all of our community throughout this year. We ask this in the name of Jesus, who asked and answered many questions. Together today, we pray for the people of our congregation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who suffer and those in trouble, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who strive for justice in our world, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all of those involved in the holy work of education, that they do their work with safety and wisdom, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our government leaders, national, state, and local, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the church universal, its members, its leaders, and its mission. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the communion of saints in every time and every place, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we pray together using the words that Jesus taught his disciples, praying together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. God bless you today, praying for you, and I look forward to talking with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.